I'm Lindsey Thomas with QDMA, and we're here at the QDMA headquarters in Georgia. And this is Andy Buck. Andy is the service manager for Power Sports at the new Cabela's Ackworth, Georgia store. And Andy stopped by today at the QDMA headquarters to help us put a quick service on this LM35 Cabela's tractor that we use here at QDMA headquarters. And basically, Andy, you changed the oil and a couple other things, but just real quick, how do you know when to change the oil? On a, on a compact tractor like this one? The first service will be at 50 hours, engine hours. Uh, and the first service you change the hydraulic fluid, the filter, the engine oil, and the engine filter. Is all that pretty simple enough that just the average tractor owner can do that himself? Yes, it's pretty simple. Everything's all color coded. Uh, all the oil drain plugs are color coded in yellow. So it's pretty easy to distinguish on this one. There's actually two drain plugs. It's got a double sump oil filter. so. And it's and pretty easy to change. It's changing oil just like changing oil on your pickup truck. You just pull the plug underneath, drain it out. Same thing. Where do you check the oil and where's the filter on here? The dipstick is right here next to the oil filter. It's color coded in yellow, so you always know that it's oil. The oil filter is right beside it. It's a standard spin on oil filter. And then there's also a fill point up on the top of the engine and a fill point here on the side of the injector pump. I always top the injector pump off a little bit of oil so it doesn't start dry. What type of oil? It's a 1030 synthetic. Uh, Cabela's has it in stock in their service centers. Okay. And what else did you say? Air filter? What? Uh, the air filter and, and everything else is usually around 100 hours. Okay. Uh, the first 50 hours is just a standard oil change and, and hydraulic fluid. You really don't change the hydraulic filter until 100 hours. You just change the fluid to make sure there's not anything in contaminants inside it. Okay. And then just do a visual inspection on the fan belt and and everything else on the tractor. And where do you check the hydraulic fluid? The, the hydraulic fluid has got a sight glass on the back right next to the PTO shaft. There's a sight glass on it and the sight glass should be half full. Okay. All right. So fairly simple. Doesn't, how long would it, did it take you to kind of run the quick uh, Probably service? 30 minutes and we're done. Okay. Great. Well, we appreciate you coming by and helping us getting back and running in a good, good condition. Okay. No problem. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Take care. All right.